So I feel that there's potential for marriage and everything. Oh gosh! <laughs> I'm coming to that wedding. <laughs> Good day everyone and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be doing something psychedelic. Today I thought it would be cool if I went out and I tested three different psychics in the exact same day to see, you know, if they're really real. When I go see these psychics, there's four things that I want to know and four things that I'm going to compare and contrast with each psychic. So the first one is friendship. I want to know about my friendships. Do I need to get some new ones? Do I need to get some old ones? <laughs> I don't know. The second one is career. I want to know what's going on with my future, with my YouTube channel, or just in general. Like, am I going to be doing something else in the future? I don't know. I need to know. And the third one is health. Is my health going to be good? If I'm going to have any health issues in the near future, do I need to figure it out before that happens? And the final one is love. I've been in a relationship with Daniel for four years. I want to know from a psychic's perspective of not knowing either of us, like what she sees in my future for love. So major disclaimer, every single psychic that I saw told me that they are not providing me with medical advice about my health. They're not doctors. They're just psychics that are giving me a reading and I shouldn't take what they're saying to the extreme level. Like if they were to say like I have great health and then all of a sudden I have this crazy thing happen to me, they're not responsible or liable for that. So yeah, I guess without further ado, let's go meet these three psychics and see what they have to say. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I love yours too. Close the door. You can position yourself right. Hi. Nice to meet you, nice Joey. You How too. are you today? I'm good. All right. You want to do a reading today? Yes, please. Let's go. Say your full name for me three times. Joey Gorsafa. Joey Gorsafa. Joey Gorsafa. I want you to shuffle each of those separately. Amanda's shuffling. I want you to think that you will come hearing whatever the universe wants to say to you. Sure. Okay. I see you being very artistic, very creative. Yeah, definitely. You like to talk. In a good way. Okay. In a good way. So just like right off the bat here, it's not necessarily that any of your friendships need to end. There doesn't need to be dramatic endings or anything anywhere. However, you're kind of moving on okay. in a couple different things. So either these people around you and just the, the friendship as its own thing needs to evolve and grow yeah. because you're evolving and growing. So either it's going to grow with you or you kind of just have to be like, okay, I love you. I'm only be here now. What she said, I mean, it makes sense. I feel like that's something that everyone can kind of learn from. I guess we'll just see what happens. You never know. You're not the person you used to be. And then when we change, our friendships are gonna change. Okay. And then we feel kind of guilty because I grew up with this one, I went to school with that one, and now we're not as close as we were. That's really normal. So don't feel guilty. They're drifting this way, you're drifting that way. So Wendy's reading on the friendships was actually very similar to our previous reading. Did you have a guardian angel? Now that's a one hell of a guardian angel. This is an image I want you to take with you wherever you go. There's an angel in front, they're all in white, an angel behind, an angel on this side, and an angel on that side. And they're so tall, they're taller than you, so that their wings meet above your head like a canopy. So everywhere you go, take your angel group with you. Okay. And um, know that Protected. It was definitely really nice to hear that I have a guardian angels all around me. Um, it just makes me feel protected at all times. Like, hey angels, hey assistant, how you doing? Okay, good. As far as I'm seeing is also you're walking away from some friends, some people, because you're growing right now. Yeah. There's a spiritual shedding happening, okay? I do feel that there's going to be a change of friends. Okay. So it doesn't mean everybody's going to leave, but you're going to see very much so who has the true color and who doesn't yeah. right so that's, that's going to happen good. one is a female one is a male but the female she's in and out of your life she comes and goes okay. maybe she doesn't live in this town or wherever you live yeah i think you have a circle that you trust yeah because you start already sorting out who's good for me who's not good right. for me if that makes any sense so that's with friends i do feel that you know most of your friends are stable in life okay good so eva said something similar to what both shauna and wendy had said about my friendships but i feel like all of them have said something completely like in their own words about it so i don't really know if that's just like everyone in life is kind of like dealing with that change that's going on. I mean, I don't know. You watching right now, do you feel like you can relate to what she said about you or do you feel pretty solid with your current friendships? Let me know. Okay, cool. 
and then we're gonna look at career. Yes. Right? All right. Things seem to be kind of coming full circle to, for you. So going back to things kind of closing up and coming to an end with certain things. So I don't really know what she means by things are coming to a close and also coming full circle. I'm trying to think of what that means. Maybe it just doesn't make sense to me yet because it hasn't fully happened. Like the closing hasn't happened. I want you to make sure that you're very um, independent with what you do with your new ventures, okay? So if there's things that you kind of have to rely on a lot of people for yeah. to kind of do that, like I want you to kind of either begin to master those skills yourself or just kind of veer off and focus on things that you can kind of do solo. I just feel like my life is kind of like at a weird spot right now where it almost feels like things are changing so I don't know what exactly is to come or what's to end but I do feel like there is something that is going to happen pretty soon. Career. All right let's look at career. You got into this career as a form of therapy. I mm -hmm. guess that would be a good way of saying yeah, it. Yeah definitely. So you got into this because you needed therapeutic self-confidence and I believe this is you and you're finding it. You're finding a nice balance in who you are. So Wendy's saying that starting my career was almost emotionally healing for me um, definitely was very accurate. I didn't really connect with anyone when I was growing up. Like I, I had friends, but I just didn't really feel like I could relate to my peers. So I turned to YouTube as a way to express myself and really connect with people from all across the world and make new friends. Um, so totally 100%. Let's do career. Okay. Um, what do you want to know? A little lost right now. So I'm just kind of wondering like where I'm supposed to be headed. I know this is far fetched and I know I just met you, but I have a feeling like like you, you're heading towards being like the next person. Like something in that field in entertainment. Par Paris Hilton? Yes. <laughs> you know the guy, Paris Hilton. Oh, Perez. Perez. Oh, I thought you said Paris Hilton. <laughs> So once she started getting into career stuff, I definitely started to feel like she was definitely not tapped in completely to me. She said that I would be like the next Perez Hilton and like maybe the next Paris Hilton, but definitely not the next Perez Hilton. No offense to Perez, but that's just not me at all. I actually don't really like hosting gigs. Like I did in the past and I absolutely hated it. So I, that's definitely not in my future. I can tell you that. I don't see anything terrible with your health or anything okay. like that. I think just be nicer to yourself. I see a lot of water. This is like emotions and this is cleansing. And I, so I feel like a good like heart healing is definitely in order for you. Okay. Um, and water is a really good um, facilitator for that. It's a very cleansing thing. So we live really close to the beach. It's the yeah. world's largest salt bath. <laughs> I found it really interesting that she recommended that I work with water because I don't know, I just have a, a connection with water. Not necessarily like I always have to be in the water like a freaking fish i'm just so fascinated by it and out of all the elements in avatar the last airbender i've always wanted to be a waterbender just because i think it'd be so fun so i agree i agree shauna now your health yes all right as and you understand this is only a tarot reading yep so the first card says you're active you do a lot of things that would tell me you're probably in damn good health your biggest issue with your health is what you think mm -hmm. and your insecurity and and all of the places you go to with your imagination. Yeah, that's definitely true. I definitely build up stuff yeah. about things. Yes. But you do need to, to take time out for yourself. And I don't mean time out to worry. I mean time out to exercise, time out. I got scuba diving. I don't know where I got that from. Or surfing. Something about the water. I guess it's, uh, yeah, I'm hearing what I'm saying. This, Water is good for the emotions, the subconscious and the emotions. Yeah. So I can imagine you have an affinity for water. Yeah, I do. Yeah, there we go. So time out to just enjoy that. Uh, okay. So Wendy said that my health is good. She said that I'm active and that all, all is well, except for how I think, which is so crazy because that's exactly what Shauna had said. So it's so crazy. I feel like these two psychics are totally, like they're giving me different details, but they're pretty much saying the exact same thing. So so that's pretty crazy. So health-wise, I'm not a medical psycho. I do feel right. like you are uh, definitely very health healthy, but I can okay. pick up that you sometimes have maybe anxiety. Yeah. Healing through yoga okay. or any sort of meditation. What you want to do is you want to make sure that, you know, even if it's just a few minutes a day, start like with five minutes a sure. day. Start like just like un unwinding. Okay. If that makes any sense. When you have that or go to the beach, you know, like 
put your feet in the water, anything that makes you earthy, but you need to learn how to like meditate so you can do that. You can over, you know, overcome the anxiety. It's usually in the solar plexus. Yeah. Besides anxiety, I don't feel that you have anything. I do feel okay. like you're a healthy bee. So that's for health. Okay, good. So Ava said that my health was good, which I agree. Um, it's just weird because none of these people have talked about the fact that I was really sick in the past like couple of weeks. I was better when I saw them, so I'm hoping that means like in my future I don't really have any major health concerns that I need to be worried about. So health check. I feel like there is one guy that is kind of standing out to me and it's like your your best friend or something. Like I feel like this person is like your right hand man. Yeah. So she picked up on the fact that I have one strong best friend who like would move with me wherever I went. And immediately in my head I was like, oh, this is Daniel that she's talking about. So I was like, oh, that's my boyfriend. In my head it goes straight to my boyfriend Daniel. Okay. Um, I definitely feel like he's my best friend. Oh, that would make even more sense if it's your boyfriend too, because you guys are coming up as like the power couple. <laughs> the emperor and the empress. Yeah. I'm her. And then when she showed the cards, I was like, yep, that's definitely me and Daniel. And are you guys moving? Yeah. Okay. Wow. All right. So that's exciting too. Are you guys moving close? Like just moving house or moving far away? We're moving house. It's still in LA, just okay. a different location. It was so weird the fact that she knew that I was moving. Okay, is there a pool? I yeah. just keep seeing a pool and I just keep seeing water and I'm like, wow. Okay. That's so crazy because literally Daniel just sent me a video of the pool from the new house, like just like 10 minutes ago. She's like, is there going to be a pool there? I'm getting the feeling that there's a pool. And literally right before I walked in, Daniel sent me a video because our pool just finished at the new house. Literally, he just sent me this video. Oh, perfect. That's so crazy. Such a weird coincidence, or I guess it's not a coincidence because she's freaking psychic. So she knew. It's crazy. My first card on you and your love life says you're protecting your heart. It's like you're scared to love. So that tells me, just by looking at that, something must have happened to you in your past. Um, you want to love and you really want to be accepted and you want to accept your partner, but there's a fear of being hurt. I have a lovely person around you and your angels really wanted you to be with this person. Aww, so that's I have this image of angels, his angels and your angels, and they're up in heaven high-fiving each other. <laughs> they're in the same room. Never talk to them. So I love that Wendy said that mine and Daniel's angels are high-fiving each other up in heaven or wherever they are because it just makes me feel like we are meant to be together and it's just so cute that we have people rooting for us in the spiritual world. Okay. It definitely started out a little rocky. Did you just end a relationship with somebody? Um, it's not a relationship. No. Well, it could be also a business relationship if it's not. If you haven't finished it yet, it's going to happen. Okay. For some reason, she got the fact that I had just gone through a breakup, but I've been in a relationship for the past four years. Yeah. Are we dating, yeah? Yes. So the first thing that keeps coming up is that there's possibility and room for you guys to stay together for a very long time. So I feel that there's potential for marriage and everything. Okay. I can see something. I would not be surprised if, you know, like it, it would happen maybe like within a year or so. Oh, God! <laughs> I'm coming to that wedding. <laughs> she thinks that I'm getting married in the next year to two years, which kind of scares me. But again, I don't know the future. Like, am I going to be married in the next year or two years? I don't know. The second thing what I'm I'm seeing is there's a possibility for a move. I don't know if you own a house or you want to buy a house. Yeah, we're actually in the process of moving. So she also picked up on the fact that I was moving, which I still find pretty crazy. Like, I don't think she had the time to go and research the fact that I was moving. If she researched that, she would have known that I had a boyfriend. So I feel like she definitely has some psychic abilities and she was able to pick up on certain things. Okay. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. Really cool. Give me yeah. a hug. Nice oh, to meet thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> it was wonderful meeting you. Yeah, nice. I feel really good about this. Okay, cool. Okay. Thank you. Cool. All right. Overall, I really enjoyed the whole psychic experience. I thought it was really cool. It was almost like a therapy session, honestly. I felt a little more in tune with myself and it gave me a bit more confidence with my future. Um, it kind of made me feel a little bit more grounded and 
like what I was doing was right and that I didn't have to be worried about my future as much. So if you have never gotten a psychic reading, I actually recommend that you do. I thought it was a really cool experience and I definitely will be going again in the future, just almost like a therapy session like I said, but also just to like, I don't know, maintain my like connection with the spiritual world. I enjoyed this experience. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big ol' thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you want to see me do this again and give me some suggestions of like different types of things you want me to put to the test against each other. And uh, yeah, that's it for today. I love you. I will see you all tomorrow. Good damn.